Texas State. Now, this is another interesting one. Uh, Texas State, Jake Spavital, this is going into his third year. And the way that he has been recruiting is interesting, to say the least. Uh, he only signed two guys out of high school last year. The rest were transfers and a few junior college guys. It feels like he thinks he has been in win-now mode ever since he stepped on campus. Or he just had some different ideas, and and we'll see how they get their numbers to work. I, I'm not sure exactly how that's going to go. Um, but this is one of the main schools that will benefit from the NCAA getting rid of the 85-man roster limit and the 25-man signing uh, limit because they're going to bring in as many as they need to. Uh, you look at what they did last year. They went 4-8 and eight last year. Their post-game win expectancy said that they really should have been closer to about 3-9. and nine. They went 3-5 and five in the league. Uh, returning production is, okay, number, you know, number 52, 66%. The offense brings back a lot more production than the defense, and that's even with Brady McBride leaving. Uh, but they do bring in Arkansas State quarterback Lane Hatcher, and that's a big-time step up. 59% completions last year, to, uh, 2,400 yards, 19 touchdowns, eh, 13 interceptions. That's not great. They got weapons like uh, the running back Hill and the wide receiver Banks. The offense should certainly improve from number 86 in PPA per drive last year. Um, You've got three returning starters on offensive line. The offensive line strength looks to be pretty good. Uh, You know, can the new quarterback improve their big play offense? I would think so. They were number 127 in 30-plus yard plays. Um, I think they're going to be better. Like, Spavitol is an offensive guy. He's been known as that for his whole career, but you got to wonder if the game has caught up to him. I don't know uh, one way or the other. On defense, they finished number 120 in PPA per drive last year, and I'll tell you, right now, the prospects for improvement do not look great. There's only four starters coming back. They brought in five defensive tackle transfers. Not defensive line, not guys that can move around, etc. Five defensive tackles. So they are obviously looking for something at that spot. Uh, And I can understand that they were number 103 in rushing success rate allowed last year. But at the same time, uh, the secondary, already kind of weak. Uh, you got to hope that the cor- uh, cornerback, Jaron Morris, is healthy. Linebacker looks okay. You got three guys back with 450 plus snaps, but they, they're not overwhelming. It's not something that, that's intimidating to other teams. You know, when I look at the keys to the season, they brought in 17 total transfers. They brought 10 of them on offense. They only signed five recruits. Like I said before, three of them were junior college. Uh, Spavital has done this for the first two years as well. I don't know how the numbers are going to work. Um, but obviously, they're finding a way to, for sure. And what I'm curious about is how quickly can a team that is full of pieces actually gel? Like, how do you get team chemistry when you're swapping pieces out here and there all the time? Um, they played tight games last year against Baylor, against Troy, etc. If you can get over the hump and get some of those upsets, it can certainly start a wave. You know, you can get the ball rolling with that. The offense this year might be able to keep them in games longer. But until they solidify the defense, this is going to be tough sledding. Absolute tough sledding. Uh, I've got them 4-8. and eight, And the only wins I have here are Florida International, Houston Baptist, ULM, and Arkansas State. Could I see them getting some other ones? Yes. Like You play at James Madison. They're moving up to, to D1 ball or to FBS. I, you know, could they beat Southern Miss? Maybe. Uh, we don't know anything about John Summerall at Troy. So, I, yeah, you could find some other wins there, maybe. Uh, but 4 and 8 looks like it's pretty, pretty likely here. So, that's the way that I'm going to roll with Texas State. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com. And if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.